What's going on guys? Welcome to my tutorial on Adobe Photoshop CS6. That is right, I am talking about the new Photoshop. This is the beta version that Adobe just released yesterday. So let's get started with the first new feature and this is the content where fill. If you notice in the last version of Photoshop, we didn't have much control over where we filled our element that we had selected. We're going to select this element over here that we want to fill. Take this tool called the patch tool and we're going to click inside this selection here and then we're going to work our way over here so i'm just going to select this and if you notice it's like a mirror and it's just selecting what i have over here and we can fill it just like that i'm going to release my mouse Control d and that's not too bad if i work my way over here though you know i do notice a little bit of a difference but let me just zoom out and it's not awful for some simple edits that's a pretty cool tool the next thing I want to show you is this other tool over here called the Content Aware Move tool. Now what you can do over here is just take this tool and start tracing what you want to move. Now all I'm going to do is move him right here and then let Photoshop do the rest of the work. And like magic, he's moved. How's that look? That doesn't look great. <laughs> I'm laughing because Adobe always promises these new features and I'm not knocking them. I think they really try hard to make this work as best as they can. But the only problem with this is that it's not going to work in every picture that you use it. I guess this picture is a little bit more complex for that feature. So moving along, there's another feature for people that want to edit video. Again, this is something I wouldn't use professionally, but if you just want to mess around with Photoshop, you can get involved in some video editing. There is a timeline over here. This is just like when you were animating before. You can import video. The only thing with importing video I notice is that the timeline is just a little bit haphazard. I don't know. I wouldn't find myself um, importing too much video into Photoshop. Um, this says video frames to layers and you can import a video. So put my intro over here. And you see over here it says select the range because what I'm doing is I'm just getting the beginning of the clip and select OK. And that is my video. I noticed the example that Adobe used for like that promotion of this feature. It's not the way I would want to do things for myself. You know, I can get this done easily in a program like Premiere Pro. And that's the kind of software I want to use when I'm editing my video. But there's things you can do and I can show you over here. These are the layers for what we were just watching. And you can move things around. You can work with transitions. You know, you can fade in, fade out stuff. Similar to what you have in Premiere Pro again. You can shorten the clips. I think really Adobe should have focused more on the animation aspect. That would have been a better way to go, I think, with the timeline. Rather than try to sell it off as like a video editing tool. Just a personal opinion. So let's get back to the actual picture I had up before. There's another new feature here that's called character styles. This will allow you to save the styles of your character. So if you have like a heading for different areas, like a paragraph or something, you can save the style of that font. And also there's paragraph styles where you can save the actual formatting of your paragraph. I'll just show you quickly the character style. I'm going to come over here and create myself a new style. Double click on this. I'm going to select the graffiti font and let me just change the size to 72. Select OK. Now you notice that I'm on the character style. When I select this and go with none, it's going to change it back to something else. So anytime in the document that I want that style, I'll be able to select this. And it's pretty cool because when you're formatting text, it's very easy to use. If you notice the background here, this is very similar to After Effects and Premiere Pro. You can adjust this so we can change the color. And, you know, that's a pretty cool feature. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this preview of Photoshop CS6 Beta. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.